What's up guys, it's Kyle here. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can transfer your PlayStation 3 save of Skyrim onto the PC version of Skyrim. Now obviously you're going to need a USB, USB, you're going to need a computer, it's a no brainer, and you're going to need Skyrim for the PC. Or Mac, I'm not, I don't know if it works for Mac or not. Either way, I, I'm using PC. I'm using Windows. Alright, so what you're going to want to need is a Skyrim PS3 toolkit. And it's going to be found in the description. And you're going to need to take your save off the PlayStation 3 and put it on a USB. And then put it on your computer. What you do for that, if you don't know how to do that, is um, you go to your removable disc, which is your USB and you make a folder called PS3 then inside the PS3 folder you're going to make one called save data you have to make it in all caps I'm not really sure why but I, I, I don't know just factory settings something like that I don't know and then once you do that put your USB into the PlayStation 3 and then put your save onto the um, the USB and then it'll pop up like this and then this is where the Skyrim PS3 toolkit comes in handy. Right here, um, this is your save data, pretty much. Now you have to make this into an ESS file. And to do that, you back out of this, and you have this folder right here. Right? Now you open up the PS3 toolkit. Actually, the first thing you do is, um, is you move this this the folder that's on your USB the plus 30778 whatever all that is on to the uh, into the folder of the Skyrim toolkit which is again in the description you move that into there until it looks like that once you get that open up the toolkit and you just drag it over here um, you can actually exit out of this now you can exit out of the USB because you won't be needing that for a couple minutes and then what you do is you take this, the bless folder, and drag it into the decrypt. Now when it says decrypted, that means it worked. That is basically it. So you can exit out of this. If not, if you don't you don't have to, because we're gonna be using it later after a mod and all that crap. So, you know, you can just exit out of this, which I'm going to, and take this and rename the SYS data to rename and you're going to type in ESS as the end and if it asks you this right here oh well didn't ask anyway if it asks um, are you sure you want to change this it might delete some of the contents or whatever just say yeah once you got this renamed go into your documents and go into my games find Skyrim go to the saves and uh, all you do is just copy this well copy it or move it into the saves and that is pretty much it this is how you get it to the computer after I show you what I'm going to be doing and that it works um, I'll be showing you how to put it back onto the PlayStation 3 but I won't be showing the PlayStation 3 because I don't have a video recorder for that. All right. <clears throat> right now we're loading up Skyrim, as you can see. And this tool is 100% free. And if you have Norton, like me, and it won't let you download it, or it lets you download it, but it won't let you open it, all you have to do is just uh, go and bring up Norton, which would be like right here. Bring that up. Hopefully it won't screw up. Go to advanced, right here, if it'll work. I think it's going to freeze. All right, no. Yeah, I don't know. All right, click on advanced, and under here in web protection, there's going to be a little download intelligence thing. And by default, that thing is on. It'll be, it'll be just like the rest of these. All you do is just click off of it until it shows the little red minus button. And then you're good, and then you can open it and use it. That's what this kind of problem I had at first. But all right, loading up Skyrim, and why it's being like this, no clue. But who cares? All right, then you go to load, 
and right there it is the SYS data it is right there so that lets you know that it worked which is pretty sweet if you ask me I don't know why it's doing this stupid mouse All right, anyways if this is very laggy I'm sorry I'm using easy vid it's, <laughs> it was free and you know I'm beginner at making these and Skyrim alright you know what who cares I'm just let it do its thing <laughs> alright alright yeah yeah it's not the best ever but you know who cares as long as I can do a couple things to my PlayStation alright now let's say uh I don't know. I want to add. Hmm. Let's see. I just want to add lock picks because this is just a tutorial right now. No. I actually want to get all the Dragonborn items. T A S. Smoke. Well, you know what? I'll just do it to make it quick and easy. I'll just say F1 or 11. Eleven dollars added. Yay, that's all I wanted. Not really. I'll be doing it later. Alright, what you want to do is save over this. Do not make another one because it just screws everything up. And then you exit out of this. Go back to your desktop. And close out of Steam. And uh, go back to your documents. Go to My Games. Go to your saves again. Um, now you rename this back to just that SYS dash data with no periods or anything. That's another mistake I made. I put a period and that was a big mistake. All right. See, this is the thing. If you rename, if you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Always click yes. Nothing is going to happen. Nothing whatsoever. All right. Now what you want to do, what you want to do, ugh, is go back into the folder the Skyrim folder, the toolkit, and go back to this plus save player one. Then all you have to do is just drag the save that was in your saves folder back into this and click out of this, click out of this, and then go back and open the the toolkit. Now here's the kind of tricky part the really kind of tricky part you want to drag this into encrypt all right and that lets you know that it worked all right so you can exit out of that and you want to go back to your USB you open that up open this open this and you delete this you delete this one and then you copy this and back into it it'll copy it then you close everything out, unplug your USB, and then put it into your PlayStation. I promise, guys, this works. I've done this a thousand times. I mean, it's so easy. I used Modio on the Xbox, and I was like, you know what? I wish I could play Skyrim like this on the PlayStation 3, and now I can, finally. So it's, it's totally worth it. It's awesome, and it's just unbelievable. I can't believe whoever made this toolkit up. I would give them a huge high five, a smack through the face for congratulations, and I, I don't know, just give them a hug or something. I don't know, punch them in the balls for not coming out with this earlier. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, like I said, if you don't know how to make the folder like this, all you have to do is just format a USB on your computer, one that you've never used. You put a folder in there named PS3, then save data. This ain't going to be here until you copy your save from the PlayStation onto the USB. So that is pretty much it. Just follow this video and follow the other videos that's out there. I'm sure they're a lot better than mine and a lot more explanatory. But I think I got the high spots in this, and I hope you guys enjoy your new saves and your new mods to this. Thanks.